Yo, it is Gideon, it's your boy time back here with another video and in this video today we're going to be doing a gameplay of the new free Dark Matter RJ Jefferson. Now look man, the, the zero gravity grind, it was one of those that you were just like, just praying that there would be a reward. That was ultimately worth it. And I think I can sit up here and say for sure, Richard Jefferson was worth it. Uh, for my no money spent, he is definitely going to be the real deal. And it's probably the same thing for a lot of you guys out there. And as we dive into this today, guys, if you are new to my channel and have not yet, make sure to smash that subscribe button as we are on the road towards 100,000 subscribers. RJ here. 6'7", 233 pounds, 97, 3 ball, 99, driving, 94, ball, 88, block, 97, steel, perimeter, 94, interior, great rebounder, 98, speed, 97, lateral quickness. Basically, as the stats of an invincible card, 95s across the board, tendency wise, 31 out of famers, catch, shoot, corner, specialist, ankle breaker, diver, pickpocket, pick dodger, clips, interceptor, intimidator, posterizer, rebound, chaser, does get limitless spot up handles for today's quick first step, dead eye, sniper, ankle braces, as well as menace. 48 gold batters. The thing I love about Richard Jefferson is he's a card for no money spent players. You don't have to badge him up. He's got every badge in the game. Looking at Richard Jefferson here in obviously shoot around. My goodness, man. King Richard Jefferson moving groove. Okay, the size up isn't great, right? I'll say that. I don't necessarily love that size up, but man, can this card move if I've ever seen it? Now, here's the deal, okay? Is he going to be, I've seen people comparing this card to MJ. He's not Michael Jordan, okay? I promise you guys, Richard Jefferson is not Michael Jordan. But this card is good, and he can move, and that's the important thing, okay? Does have the J.R. Smith base, which for Richard Jefferson is important because his player model at the shooting guard position is elite. And so with the Richard Jefferson base, with his movement, I think you can make the case He's the top shoot uh, up there. Not as good as Scottie Pippen, obviously. But he's up there with the top three shooting guards or so in my team. He's up there, okay? Good release. Great movement. Check out the full court movement here for Richard Jefferson. Great behind the back. Good tween. Again, quick stopping. J.R. Bates. Going to be knocked down. I'm liking what I'm seeing out of Richard Jefferson. That's not me sitting here saying he for sure is going to be the best shooting guard in the game. I know DBG is hyping him up a lot, but that's what we're here to really find out. Is Richard Jefferson really that next level good? Looking at Richard Jefferson here on current gen. Oh my gosh, is his size. Like, he moves, and that's one thing, like, nobody can really even comment on. You got to know how to dribble, definitely, if you do want to kind of use Richard Jefferson to his best ability. But to say he can't move is just simply wrong. He can move. His release is good, obviously, with that J.R. Smith face. It's just one of those things, man. Forget everything that I've ever said. I don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to dribble six in my team. And I'm, I'm, I'm willing to admit that, right? I don't know enough about it to comment on it. But what I will say is Richard Jefferson can move in my team. That's as simple as I can I can put it, man. I can say all this stuff about, you know, certain dribble six. I personally like the Kobe size of this game, but everybody else is like, Ty, there's so much more to dribbling that you can unlock. And you know what, guys? They are probably right. RJ can move and groove, and at the shooting guard position, he's probably at least minimum top three. We're 9-0 and right now at the Galaxy Open tier. And I think this is honestly a perfect spot to see if Richard Jefferson really is next level good. Honestly, like my team, but we're up against the new John Stockton, who I think is going to be absolutely elite. Maybe Richard Jefferson will be the guy to unlock my dribbling skills. Because right now, I'll be the first to say it. I'm not a very good dribbler. I'm really not. Richard Jefferson getting kind of a fluke assist on the first possession of the game. But hey, an assist is an assist at the end of the day. Look at the defense. Oh my goodness. You're back. Good. I just are. Ew, Stockton. What was. Oh! You're not using John Stockton right if you're shooting that shot. It's just that simple. Oh, yeah, RJ. That's horrible. That's horrible. That KD just got over that screen, though. I mean, I thought I'd at least clip him a little bit, and I didn't. He doesn't know how to use John Stockton. That's not his shot right there. It's really not.
Need it. Need it, Richard Jefferson, and I got it. And I've said it all along. I'm not even a very good MJ user. So, uh, you know, and M MJ moves a little bit better. RJ, we're stopping, we're popping, and that is going to be green nearly every single time. Into D Rob. Easy bucket right there. He just can't guard RJ. It's really that simple. I can't wait. I'm going to have RJ on the nobody spin. Going to eventually have Bob Nedelecki. And then things are going to get really interesting. Run. Uh, to, uh, to big Jermaine O'Neal. High flying. For an easy one-handed jam. Yes, sir, RJ. I love this player, Bill. 6'7". Seven, Seven-foot wingspan for RJ, man. Oh, my goodness. What are you throwing? Dots to big Draymond Green. 14% doesn't matter. You're seeing Richard Jefferson be a primary ball handler right now. That is what you're seeing. Uh-oh. This poor John Stockton. Can I get John Stockton and just let me do a gameplay with him? Because you're making him look like garbage. Or maybe it's Richard Jefferson making him look like garbage. I'm not sure. Ew. Ew, ew, ew. He doesn't know what he's doing, though. He just doesn't. RJ for three more. I'll bow down to King RJ. Forget RJ Barrett and my team. There's only one real RJ in NBA 2K22, my team, and it's Richard Jefferson. My goodness, is this card elite? We're hopping right in Triple Dead Online to see if he can do the same. My opponent's running Kobe Bryant here. I mean, Kobe cool, but he no RJ at this stage of my team. He just is, and it's that simple. I'm not hating on Kobe, but he is just not. Oh, hey, what? What was that? Oh, that isn't Kobe. I thought he was out here running Kobe. The crazy part about Richard Jefferson is everybody's going to have him. And everybody's going to be running him. Now, again, you got to know how to run him. So you're going to see a lot of bots running RJ. But don't don't base your opinion off the bots, man. Because you guys watching this are not bots, man. You guys know what you're doing. If you're already watching me, you know what you're doing, man. Kind of looks like him with a bald head. Another easy one. Whether you switch the screen or don't against Richard Jefferson, you're in trouble. I mean, I used the Pink Diamond in, what, 2K20 for a while when he came out, but he still had that catapult-type release, which, I mean, look, I think it was, oh my goodness. I don't think it was as bad as people made it out to be, but Richard Jefferson just out here dogging my opponent. Krabby Patty! Richard Jefferson just got it at this point, man. He, I mean, he, he's Zeus on this game. He is literally Zeus on this game. I thought people were gassing him, comparing him to Kobe. I don't think he Kobe, but man. Or not Kobe. I don't think he MJ, but man, is RJ tough. Uh-oh. That's my fault, man. I held it down too long. This card is elite on this game. I'm just late with that release right now. That's my only problem. Jeez, RJ. He got a full. Thank gosh. I got a full right back, but he still cashed in on it. his release. It's almost, I don't know. It's weird. It's, it's, it's a mix of that jump shot 29. Obviously, RJ's upper, I'm pretty sure. But it's interesting. It's going to take a while to get used to, I'm pretty confident. Look at, oh, I thought you were going to give me a paint stop. Finish him. He is so, so, so elite on this game. Dude missed one shot. I'm going to keep this pretty short and pretty simple. Richard Jefferson is a top two shooting guard in my team. Now, I'm going to say this, though. At the shooting guard position, I'd rather play Luka Doncic and I'd rather play Michael Jordan. Still to this day. Now, that's just me being honest. But after those two, I think RJ is number three. So, again, I play MJ or Luka. One of them at point guard and one of them, obviously, at shooting guard. RJ, to me, is that second shooting guard in 2K. And obviously, Luka and MJ are both ridiculously expensive, especially MJ. And so, you basically get an invincible card for free that has it all. 
Want to give a massive shout out to 2K for blessing us with basically a perfect card that basically everybody can get their hands on. That's going to wrap it up for me today, though, guys. Make sure to go grind out RJ and get him for your squad. Plug him in wherever you see fit. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. And have a blessed day.